manufacturing industries. Objectives This module lists the different types of industries, explains the infrastructure required for industries, shows us the distribution of major industries. Introduction Agriculture raises crops and animal husbandry improves the production of meat and dairy products. Many useful minerals are mined from the earth, but most of these products have to be processed before they can be used. Processing of raw materials to obtain finished products is called manufacturing. For example, cloth is made from cotton, sugar from sugarcane, paper from wood pulp and petrochemicals from mineral oil. Manufacturing takes place in industries, which are large establishments using a variety of machines, tools and technology. The Industrial Revolution in the 18th century resulted in the growth and development of modern factories. It also created a new relationship between man, machines and natural resources. It was the demand for raw materials that gave rise to colonialism. The discovery of petroleum and water power as alternative sources of energy further helped industrial development. Many factors influence the location, development and growth of industries. Industries can be classified into many groups. Classification of industries On the basis of size The size of an industry depends on the amount of capital invested, number of people working and the amount of production. Industries under this category fall into three groups. Cottage industries use local raw materials and produce for local market. For example, craftspersons in rural areas. Small-scale industries use power-driven machines and labor. Raw material is obtained from outside and goods are sold through traders. They are important industries in developing nations. Products include toys, cloth, furniture, etc. Large-scale industries use power-driven heavy machines and thousands of labor. These industries have large capital investments and get raw materials from far-off places. Products are sent to places far away. Iron and steel mills and textile mills are examples. On the basis of raw materials Agro-based industries obtain raw materials from agriculture, for example, cotton, jute, sugar, etc. Mineral-based industries obtain raw materials from rocks and minerals, for example, iron and steel, cement, etc. Pastoral-based industries obtain raw materials from animals like cattle, for example, wool, hide, milk, etc. Forest-based industries obtain raw materials from the plant kingdom, for example, paper, rayon, wood, etc. On the basis of ownership, private sector industries. Private sector industries are owned and managed by individuals or a group of individuals, for example, Reliance Industries and Tisco. Public sector industries. Public sector industries are owned and managed by the central or state governments or its agencies. For example, Bharat Heavy Electricals and Bhilai Steel Plant. Joint Sector Industries Joint sector industries are owned and managed jointly by private firms and government agencies. For example, some banks and Gujarat Alkalis. Cooperative Sector Industries Cooperative sector industries are owned and managed by a group of people belonging to the cooperative society. For example, handloom sector and food processing. Mm -hmm. 
multinational sector industries. Multinational sector industries are owned and managed by members of two or more countries. They are usually set up in collaboration with foreign investors. For example, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Infrastructure necessary for industries. Industrial locations are decided after much thought and judgment. Many factors, geographical, economical, historical, human and political, influence the decision. Some of these factors are listed below. Raw material. Regular and assured supply of raw material is essential. Raw materials are of two types. Weight losing, like sugarcane, and pure materials like cotton or jute. In the former, the end product weighs less than the total weight, while in the latter, the end product weighs at least 90% of the total weight. Power Resources Most of the industries tend to be located near sources of power, coal or electricity. The power must be adequate and cheap. Labor Supplies an industry needs an adequate supply of labor at reasonable wages. Some industries need skilled labor, yet others require unskilled labor. Means of transport A reliable network of transport at reasonable rates is required. Only then can raw materials and finished goods be transported efficiently. Market Nearness to the market is useful for quick sales of goods and is most essential for perishable and heavy commodities. It also reduces transportation costs. Water supply Most of the industries like rayon and textiles need very large quantities of water. They are located near rivers, canals or lakes. Site. Large areas, preferably level lands, are needed to build factories and also for further expansion. Climate. Extreme climatic conditions are not suitable for developing industries. Distribution of major industries. The iron and steel industry. Iron and steel products are the foundation of modern machines, equipment and tools. Hence, they influence modern industrial life. This industry refines iron ore, coal, limestone, manganese, etc. and converts refined iron into steel. Many countries with iron and steel mills have their own raw materials and others imported it. Countries with iron and steel industry are USA, Europe, UK, Sweden, France, Germany, Italy, Poland, Belgium, Austria, Asia, China, Japan, India, South America, Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, Africa, Algeria, Egypt, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Australia, Chemical industry. Chemicals are widely used in agriculture, metallurgy, leather, glass, paper, textiles, sugar, fertilizers, medicines, food processing, etc. This industry is based on coal, petroleum, salt, limestone, etc. The petrochemical industry first developed in USA and Europe. Other important countries are Russia, Germany, Japan, China, UK, France, Italy, Canada, Belgium and India. Transport Equipment This includes automobiles, locomotives, wagons, ships and aircrafts. 
the first railway engine, the Iron Horse, was made in England. Locomotives are made in special factories. Main centers are in USA, UK, France, Germany and Russia. Indian factories are in Chitaranjan, Jamshedpur and Varanasi. Automobile industry began in Western Europe and then spread to USA. In India, it has grown in the last 20 years. Its main producers are Maruti Udyog, Tata Motors and others. Shipbuilding is an old industry. Shipbuilding yards in India are located at Vishakapatnam and Kochi. The aviation industry made great progress after World War II. Civil aviation is now a widely developed industry. The textile industry Cotton, wool, silk, jute and flax have been used for making cloth from ancient times. Rayon and other synthetic fibers have been introduced recently. Cotton textiles are mainly produced in USA, China, India, Russia, UK, Japan, Brazil and many other countries. In recent years, the industry has been migrating from temperate zones to cotton growing areas, which offer cheaper labor and power. Woolen industry is older than cotton industry. Leading producers are Russia, USA, Japan, UK, France, Germany, Czech Republic, Italy, Sweden and India. The industry requires raw wool of different varieties, clean water, skilled labor, power and nearness to market for its growth and development. China is the ancient home of silk textiles. Today, Japan is the largest producer. Rearing silk worms and reeling silk thread from cocoons are household industries that require skill. The Indian subcontinent holds monopoly in production, processing and manufacturing of raw jute. We, along with Bangladesh, top the list for jute industry. Sugar Industry Sugar is made from sugarcane and sugar beet. While the humid tropical regions use sugarcane, the temperate regions use sugar beet. Sugar mills are located where cane and beet are produced. Being perishable commodities, these raw materials require to be transported soon to the manufacturing units. The main sugar producing countries are Cuba, Brazil, India, Indonesia and Kenya. The International Sugar Council regulates international trade in sugar. Paper Industry Paper is derived from the word papyrus, a plant that ancient Egyptians used to make paper. Consumption of paper has enormously increased in the last century. Now the bulk of world's paper is made from wood pulp, where wood pulp is in short supply Fibrous plants and grass are used. Apart from the basic raw material, paper mills also require caustic soda, china clay and clean soft water to manufacture paper. USA is the largest producer, importer and consumer of wood pulp in the world. Other main producers are Canada. Russia, Japan, Germany, UK, France, Sweden, China, India, Indonesia, Finland, Norway, etc. Cement Industry Cement is widely used in construction work. Making cement is complicated and needs heavy and expensive machinery. Cement is made by burning powdered limestone with clay or shale to a temperature of 15,000 degrees Celsius. Gypsum is added to control the rate of hardening. 
Leading producers are USA, Russia, Germany, China, India, Japan, Italy, France and UK. Transportation costs are high in this industry. So, an ideal site for this industry would be close to raw materials, fuel and its market. Some of the other main industries in the world are chemical fertilizers, leather goods, electric and electronic goods, agricultural machinery, machine tools, food processing. Metallurgy, dairy, industrial machines, garments, woolen carpets, meat packing, tobacco goods. Summary This module has listed the different types of industries, explained the infrastructure required for industries showed us the distribution of major industries.